News or me. Afghan women in Australia learn to swim and drive in pursuit of liberty, joy, and possibilities. 20 Afghan women who just arrived in Australia as refugees listen to former asylum seeker Maryam Zahid as she teaches them to swim and discusses the country's beach culture in an indoor pool in a western Sydney neighbourhood. Zahid, who immigrated to Australia from Afghanistan 22 years ago, said that her sessions helped the ladies build their own identity and cope with the trauma of the war that devastated their homeland. Zahid told Reuters at the Ruth Everest Aquatic Centre in the Auburn district, this will have an effect on the psychological and emotional parts of their lives. To have an identity as a human being first. We are making memories for them, memories of liberty, pleasure, and possibilities. A year after the disorganized withdrawal of the United States-led coalition from Afghanistan, tens of thousands of Afghans have been relocated to the United States and Europe. After August 2001, Australia first allotted 3,000 humanitarian visas to Afghans, and early this year announced that it would accept 15,000 additional refugees over the next four years. Zahid's Afghan Women on the Move initiative assists refugees, many of whom fled amid the resurgence of the radical Islamist Taliban movement, learn to drive and find employment. She feels that the ladies may not return to Afghanistan, where the government severely restricts women's and girls' rights. For example, females are prohibited from attending high school. Concerned about the safety of their families back home, several of the ladies at the center declined to talk in front of the camera. Meanwhile, 23-year-old Sahar Azizi is having her second driving lesson as she navigates Sydney's bustling suburban streets with caution. Azizi, who moved to Australia a year ago with her husband and prematurely born son, said, I opted to begin my studies and drive instead of staying at home all the time and worrying about the terrible situation in Afghanistan. It was pretty strenuous. So I resolved to go on to accomplish something for myself and to realize my hopes and ambitions.